Near the end of the 993 production line, Porsche started coming out with some special editions. These weren't just trim option model cars. These were cars that had higher performance. And the rare to rare was the 993 Turbo S. We're here with Dean Mayer from Golden Gate Region, who has a very special car uh, in a special color. And he's going to tell us a little bit about us. Um, Dean, what attracted you to this car? What made you say, you know, I have to have this car? It was basically the color. I had seen uh, another, it was a C4 or C2S down in Monterey uh, three years ago in this color in the Porsche Corral, and it just stood out from all the other cars. And I tracked the owner down, but he wasn't interested in selling, so it started a search for me for a car in this color, and this was, uh, this was the first one that popped up when I Googled. And what's the name of this color? It's a, it's a blue turquoise. It was a factory, factory color, but uh, wasn't ordered by many... Uh, by many owners. So this is the uh, you know, 993 Turbo in itself is a special car, but this is the S model. And what did Porsche add on for the S model? Uh, the S model had uh, about uh, 25 or 30 more horsepower. This has about 430 horsepower. Uh, it has the yellow brake calipers. It has uh, a special wing on the front, special uh, uh, apron in the f or spoiler in the rear apron in the front. It has the ducks on the on the, the uh, rear quarter panels. Um, and I, we noticed the interior has some uh, extra options on it. Uh, maybe we can open the door here and we'll have our cameraman swing around. Um, this is a uh, almost looks like a fully optioned uh, interior. What what are we looking at that you know of that was options on the car? Well, the only the only option that came, uh, I believe, with this car, they, they all had the uh, carbon fiber accents. There's quite a bit of carbon fiber in this car, especially for 1997. Uh, but the the center console with the uh, mobile phone was a dealer added option by the first owner, uh, who also put uh, European springs on the car, which lowered the ride height. Other than that, it's uh, completely original. How many miles do you have on it? Uh, there's about 8,800 miles on it. Uh, I guess uh, the other special order on this car was the yellow seat belts. I, now, you also told us that you have an 08 GT2. So tell us what's the, what's the driving difference, which we're almost talking a decade of uh, evolution, if you will, between the two cars. It's, it's night and day. The, the GT2 is... Uh, just a, a much more modern vehicle, and uh, it has over a hundred, well, has a hundred more horsepower. But it's uh, it's it's a rocket. This car is is quick, uh, but it's uh, you definitely feel the difference. The GT2 is a much stiffer uh, stiffer ride. It's basically a, a race car for the street. Uh, this is much more comfortable to drive, I would say, uh, more street street friendly. And when you're driving on a highway, which one do you think gets more looks? Uh, originally, the GT2 got quite a bit of looks, but now it's become kind of ordinary. It's, it blends in with all the other 997s. This car just really stands out because of the color. And well, there you go. When a GT2 is ordinary for you, you can come to the Legends of the Autobahn and see a very rare Turbo S from 1997.